Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lindsay and I bring you content on clean beauty and skincare. Today's video is gonna be a little get ready with me. I'm gonna show you how I got this makeup look, so let me hop right into it. First, to prep my skin, I'm gonna start with the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. It's starting to get colder, so I'm becoming more focused on hydrating skincare. I use this year-round, but this is a great mist. I've talked about it a ton. I have a full video on Josh Rosebrook too, if you guys are interested, but I'm just gonna mist this on my face. Next for my serum, I'm gonna take the 100% Pure Dark Spot Remover. This is a really great vitamin C serum. It has sake, aloe, mushroom extract, some really great stuff in here. It is really effective. If you have any sort of discoloration or dark marks, I would definitely recommend checking this one out from 100% Pure. I also like how it comes with the pump, it's super handy. So I just take that and I usually focus it like on my chin where I have dark spots and spread the rest all over. Next for under my eyes, I'm actually just gonna take this Osea Essential Hydrating Oil and just put it right under there. And then I'm gonna pat it in with my fingers. Next for my SPF, which is so important to wear on the daily, I'm gonna use the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream. This is one of my favorites. I also love the Hanua Skin Care Malu Day Cream. That one's great as well. I'm just gonna take a pump of this and spread it onto my face. That's all for my skincare, so let me get into my base makeup. First, I'm gonna use the Kosas Tinted Oil Foundation. I have two videos on this, I'll link both of them. One is a comparison with the Grass and Minimalist Serum Foundation, the other is just a review and demo of this on its own. Check those out if you're interested in this because I go into a lot of detail and do a full demo in those videos. I'm actually gonna mix it with the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Anti-Pollution Serum. Now I usually wouldn't mix this with an oil-based foundation, but I feel like it does mix well with the Kosas one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that because I did self-tan, so this is a tad light for me. Next, I'm just gonna dot that onto my face and then I'm actually gonna blend it in using a Real Technique sponge. Now you can blend this in with your fingers as well if you like, but sometimes I just like to use a sponge. Now since that foundation is lighter coverage, I'm gonna go in with the On Naturel. This is their cream corrector in the shade Flax. It's a yellow cream corrector. I'm gonna use this on my acne scars and anywhere else that I feel like is dark and needs a little bit of concealing. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that into my skin. This concealer is really nice. I feel like it blends in well. I do like using a buffing brush like this one I have here. Like compared to my fingers or Beauty Blender, I feel like it just like works it in a lot better because I it is oil-based, so like a Real Technique sponge, kind of like just move it around. But I feel like a brush like this works really good with it. They also have this concealer in a green and I think a purple shade. I'll link them below for you guys. They're really nice concealers. I would definitely recommend checking them out if you have like, you need color correcting products. Those are really nice. For my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use my all time favorite Cloven Hollow Concealer in the shade 02. I just reordered a new one of these because I'm almost out of this. This is the best clean concealer I've ever tried. If you are looking for one, I would check this one out. It's not too oily, it's not too greasy, does not settle into fine lines at all. I have really like textured under eyes and I feel like it doesn't look weird at all. It sets beautifully, doesn't wear off throughout the day, nothing like that. It's such a beautiful concealer. And then I'm just gonna take this like right under my eyes. O2 is a pretty light shade, so if you guys are like curious about the shades, O1 looks like it's more of a like pinky tone. This one says that it has neutral tones in it, but I find that it is a little peachy, which is perfect for like under eye circles. I would just check um, Pettivore's website because they actually like describe the shades if you guys are curious about them. I'm just blending this in with the same sponge. Also just gonna take it onto my lids a little bit. Next to set my under eyes, I'm gonna use my favorite 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Powder. I'm almost done with this as well. 
really nice matte powder. I use it in almost every makeup video that I do. I just take a little bit into the lid and then I'm just gonna set my under eyes with it. This powder is really nice, especially when paired with the concealer. It just sets it perfectly. If you use too much of this powder, it can make you look a little dry, but just use the tiniest amount and it'll have you set all day long and you won't get oily. It's really beautiful powder and it doesn't dry your skin out because it does have that aloe powder in it. Since I do want some extra coverage on my face, I'm gonna use my Lima Pure Satin Matte Foundation in the shade Warm One. I usually don't use this on its own, but this is great to layer on top of foundations if you need more coverage. This is a really nice finish powder foundation. Like in the name it says, it is a satin matte finish. It's not a really powdery foundation, so it doesn't make you look cakey, and it's not one of those powder foundations that has like a ton of shimmer, it, shimmer in it and looks weird. It's just like a really nice finish. It layers well with anything I've tried it with, and it never really looks cakey on my skin, like even if I put a ton on. If you are looking for a powder foundation or just something to give you extra coverage, the Lima Pure one is really nice. Onto my bronzer, I'm gonna use the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow palette. I really like this. It comes with a bronzer and a highlight. They also have a blush and a highlight duo. The blush looks so pretty. I might have to try that next. This bronzer is really good. It's a really smooth, creamy formula and never looks muddy or brown on me. I usually go pretty heavy with bronzer. If you guys don't like to do that, you could of course just use a little bit, but I just like how bronzer looks on me. I feel like it gives a nice warmth to my face, so I usually do quite a lot. Sometimes if I feel like my bronzer got a little messy, I usually go in whatever brush I use for the powder foundation and I just like clean up under it. Just so it looks like a little sharper and less messy. Onto my highlight, I'm going to be using a color from the La Belladonna. You can't even see what that says. This is the La Belladonna Clean Color Palette. These powders are so good. I haven't really heard of this brand, but I got sent these and they're so beautiful. I'm actually going to use this like gold shade right here. They also have a lighter one. I use both of these. Sometimes I mix them. They're both really gorgeous. The gold shade that I use from this is super metallic, which is why I love it because I love a strong highlight. Just gives you like the prettiest glow. I actually think I'm going to do a little bit of contouring today. This shade in the same palette is perfect if you have pale skin and you can't find a shade that's like cool toned enough definitely check this palette out because this shade is like perfect even if you have medium skin i think that would work really well it's just the perfect tone and it blends out very well for contour i like to start like way back and i usually put it a little high because i find when you blend it out it does like blend lower so just start a little higher than under your cheekbone and i feel like that works out really good for me and then i just work on really blending it out I'm actually gonna go ahead and contour my nose as well. Now that my base makeup's done, I actually like to go back in with the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator and just mist that on my face as a makeup mist. It just helps your makeup look a lot more natural and if you do end up looking cakey by accident, it will help take that down. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my all-time favorite, Eco Brow. This is a brow pomade. I have the shade Sharon. I've almost like hit the bottom of this, which is pretty impressive. It looks so tiny, but this will last you a really long time. I love this. If you're not a brow pomade type of person, I also really like the 100% Green Tea Brow Builder. That's just like a really nice tinted gel you could sweep through your brows and just go. It's really natural looking and just helps build the shape of your brows without taking as long as say a pomade would take to use. I usually start this like on the outer half of my brow and then bring in whatever's left on my brush on the interior of this. If you guys have trouble using a pomade, I would recommend I usually dip it into the pot and then like put a little bit on my hand so I take most of the product out and I can always go back in onto my hand to pick up a little bit more product. This way you kind of just know how much you're using so you don't end up with like a super dark brow. Another tip is just to constantly brush through your brows. It helps spread the product through and it also shows you what your brow will look like once you brush it through. So if you do something and then you could always like brush it out and just sort of start again. For the front of my brow, I usually just do like upward strokes so it looks more hair-like. I 
I have been tweezing my brows a lot less than I used to, which I feel like is nice because I'm starting to get what my natural shape looks like. I do have to go in and clean them up, but I like having more of a natural brow. I feel like it just frames my face a lot better than like a really structured arched brow. Next for my eyes, I'm just gonna use the bronzer shade from the Lily Lolo palette I used for my bronzer. I really like using bronzer in my lid. It's just really easy and convenient to do and it makes your look really cohesive. For my lid, I'm gonna go in with the Organic Skin Co. This is a cream palette. They sell the cream separately and then you could fill your own palette. It's a really nice little option. But I'm gonna take this gold shade right here, which is just a gold cream, and I'm just gonna pat that on my lid. It's starting to get colder and it's becoming fall, so I'm totally into like warmer eyeshadow shades. I mean, warm shades are always my favorite for eyeshadow, but now that it's fall, I'm going like, all into it, gold lids, red lips, prepare for a bunch of fall makeup looks. I'm actually gonna take the same highlight shade that I used on my face and just dab that on the center of my lids for a little bit more dimension. My inner corners, I'm gonna use the same palette but I'm gonna go in with the lighter highlight shade just on the inner corners and then I'm also gonna pop it onto my brow bone. I love palettes like these just because they're so versatile. Like I use this on my face, you could use it in your crease, on your eyes, like anywhere honestly because they are clean products so they're eye safe which is what makes them great for my eyeliner i'm going to use the physician's formula eye booster i think it's called i know this is not the cleanest eyeliner but i do really like the felt tip on it i don't know if it's felt it's actually a brush tip if you guys know of any clean options that have a brush tip definitely let me know because this is like my favorite eyeliner and i still haven't found a cleaner version of it so let me know any recommendations if you do have one. I'm gonna do a wing liner just because that's my classic look, but if you guys don't wanna do a wing, no problem. If you just wanna do a simple wing, a smaller wing, I usually do mine pretty dramatic. So just customize this look to how you wanna wear it. I feel comfortable wearing a wing because I've been wearing them every day for, I don't even remember how long, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my wing liner. Now that my eyeliner is done, I'm going to go ahead and do my Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. I love this mascara. It's vegan, cruelty free, and is just a very beautiful formula. It gives me length and volume. You can also adjust like the length of the brush, so if you want more volume or more length, you can adjust that, which I think is really cool. So I think this eye would be gorgeous with a red lip or like a dark vampy lip, but I'm just going to keep it neutral today and use the Cloven Hollow. This is their lip cream in the shade Desert Rose. This is a really pretty nude color. And then to top that off, I'm actually going to go in with another Cloven Hollow product. This is their Lip Glaze in the shade Angelic. Again, a really pretty nude color. This duo is like the perfect nude lip combo. So let me just put this on. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Dirt Naturals, as well as my website, dirtnaturals.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next video.